couple of little edges for when you've got tricky conditions, particularly in the winter. Um, the fish are going to be holed up in really deep, horrible snags that you're not going to be wanting, wanting to cast your normal jig heads into. Um, so that's when a weedless setup comes into its own. Um, two really good, uh, versatile weedless setups. First of all, the Cheb rig. You've basically got a bull weight, um, a minnow shaped lure in this case, Tiddler Fast, eight centimetre with a hot olive colour, and then a nice strong offset hook. Uh, these, I think it's a size one armour point. Absolutely fantastic. Um, bounce it along the bottom. You've got a lovely dying minnow type action. Uh, looks like a bait fish right on its last legs and really gets the perch going. The, the takes have absolutely destroy it. But the key thing with it is you've got to have yourself a decent, decent rod with a good backbone. So whereas you might only be fishing a two, three gram jig head, have a rod that's you know, got a casting weight up to 15, 20 grams, so you can really drive the hook home. And just absolutely key with these, these weedless hooks. So another great tip for slow conditions, um, a tactic that would probably even rival drop shot, particularly when the fish are really tight to the bottom, not interested in it feeding at all, is the Carolina rig. Don't see it used much in the UK and it's a fantastic tactic. Um, so basically all it consists of, you've got a sliding bullet weight, swivel and then length of fluorocarbon, offset hook and a small minnow shaped uh, soft plastic. The length of fluorocarbon between the swivel and, the, uh, and your lure, just change that depend dependent on the conditions. If, if you're fishing in particularly murky water, then the length isn't as important. But if, you, if you've got really clear water, you want to have as long as you can get away with and keep, to keep the sensitivity. And then you're not getting this ball weight in the way of your, uh, in the way of your lure. It's going to kick up a lot of muck and can really put the fish off. Again, offset hook, so you've got to drive it home really hard, um, but fantastic for fishing into cover, uh, which is where the fish are going to be holed up in the winter. Uh, really good underused perch technique. The advantages of a Carolina rig over something like a drop shot um, not only do you get the nice enticing fall that you get with a drop shot, uh, the massive benefit is that you're constantly in contact with the lure. Whereas with a drop shot, when you've let that line go slack and it's falling down, you've not got full, full contact. You're not going to feel every little nick, every little nibble off the fish. Whereas with, with the Carolina rig, because you can keep your line taut as the, as the uh, lure drops down, the fish can still take it and you're still going to feel everything as the line slides through that bullet weight. Just another fantastic edge that's really going to get you more bites. So just uh, to go over how to rig an offset hook with a uh, small soft plastic. First thing to do, take your offset hook, these are just the, the armour point ones, uh, and take your soft plastics, we've got an 8 centimetre tiddler fast here, and just measure them up alongside each other, and have a look at where the, uh, the, the curve of the hook ends and comes out on the, on the top of the lure, and just nick it with, with the hook, just where, where that's going to come out. Take the uh, soft plastic, and line it up so the point is running down the bottom of the of the soft plastic, just feed it through about half a centimetre and push that all, so you've got it just nicked on like that and push that all the way until you reach the eye, the eye of the hook. Now you want to take the soft plastic and fold it up so that you can push the point of the hook through underneath where you've nicked it earlier to mark the point coming through. Push it up and through. And then if you want complete weedless presentation, just pull the lure forward a little bit and push the point 
into the body of the lure. If, if with it like that, even with the point covered, if a fish takes it, it's still going to expose straight away. It will just break through that rubber and expose. And you only need the point showing. As soon as that point's showing with a good rod and a good strike, you're going to drive that right, right into the fish's mouth.